Consumer genetic testing barely existed 20 years ago. But today, the industry has grown explosively, promising to unlock the secrets of your DNA. Meet your genes. Commit to a healthier you. From your health. I might have an increased risk of heart disease, arthritis, gallstones. To your background. A simple test will tell you your ethnic origins. Some 30 million of us have taken a consumer DNA test. One of the most innovative aspects of healthcare, the genome is going direct to consumer. The excitement is palpable. But for one of the few times in the industry's short history, sales are beginning to slow as a growing number of people question how much the technology actually reveals. Being able to do these tests from home is, in principle, a very fine idea. But the test has to be competent. Whether the results should be trusted. This is a business, it's caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. What the risks are of exposing family secrets. This actually felt like the rug had been pulled out from under me. And who else has access to all that data? From hackers. You can't go out and get a new DNA profile if someone hacks the one you have. To governments. Do you worry that the Chinese have access to your DNA? I do. The fear is that I don't know what exactly they're capable of doing with my DNA. Some say there is no such thing anymore as genetic privacy, that the genie's out of the bottle. Is that right? Absolutely. I'm Scott Wapner, decoding the debate over DNA testing. We humans share a lot in common, right down to our genes. Despite our physical differences, an estimated 99.9% .9 of our DNA, the blueprint of life, is identical. What sets us apart is in that other tiny genetic sliver that holds all the secrets of who we are. I'm feeling a bunch of emotions today. Um, a lot of anxiousness, a lot of nervousness. Mommy is going on an airplane today, Scarlett. 34-year-old Renee Fox has long wondered about the mysteries locked in her own genes. She's one of millions of people around the world who have turned to the consumer DNA testing industry, companies like 23andMe and Ancestry, to find some answers. Fox has been searching for her biological father her entire life, and today, thanks to a $99 DNA test, she's about to meet him. For 34 years, I've not known who my father was, so it's always been of interest to obviously find who that is and find additional family members that I might not know about. Consumer genetic tests like the one Fox took didn't really catch on until 2017. That's when the number of people tested more than doubled. Growing up, we were German. We danced in a German dance group. I wore lederhosen. When I first got on Ancestry, I was really surprised that I wasn't finding all of these Germans. Clever commercials like this one, backed up by an estimated quarter billion dollars in marketing muscle, convinced a record number of people to be tested in 2018, as many as in all previous years combined. So, I traded in my lederhosen for a kilt. Ancestry Suddenly, everyone, it seemed, was talking DNA. Those wildly popular DNA test kits, millions of people have tried. It's a fast and easy Easy way to find out where you came from. The tests, which cost as little as $59, made popular gifts. Give the best DNA gift this holiday season. My mom gave it to me last year and I keep forgetting to do it. I just never have time. Yeah. To spit in the tooth. <laughs> I'm very busy. Yeah. And stories of long lost family members reuniting made headlines. A reunion for a mom and her son. Stunning discovery coming after he took a home DNA test. Fox's DNA journey began in the fall of 2019, when her test uncovered a biological first cousin she'd never known. Once they connected, the cousin texted that Fox had 32 cousins, six uncles, and two aunts. One of those six uncles had to be her birth father. After ruling out four of the uncles based on age and where they'd lived, one of the two remaining uncles agreed to take a DNA test. It was a match. I looked and I just 
welled up in tears. <laughs> it was just like, this is my father, I found him. Like you actually now know who he is, you have a name, you have proof that he really is related to you and you share DNA. Finding close relatives is something ancestry tests do incredibly well. It involves taking cells from your saliva, extracting your genetic material, and comparing it to the DNA of other customers who've taken the same company's test. The more DNA you share, the closer your relationship. But finding who your more distant ancestors are and where they came from may not be nearly as precise. When I found you in my DNA, I learned where my strength comes from. A big part of the appeal of these tests is some very seductive marketing. Expect the unexpected. That says, you know, I can tell you your story. I, I can tell you where your ancestors are from. Um, I can tell you why, the, uh, why you are the way you are. I just don't think that's what the science says. Adam Rutherford is a geneticist and author who writes about what genetic tests can and cannot tell us. Genetic ancestry tests do not tell us where our ancestors are from. They don't do that because there is no scientific way of doing that. What they tell us is where people on Earth who have similar DNA to yours live today. And from that, we infer ancestry. Most people take consumer DNA tests because they want to learn more about their family's origins. But the results are largely estimates and can vary depending on which company's test you choose. The results can also be wrong. Take Peter Cho. I didn't know what to think at first. The 43-year-old head of design at a San Francisco software company took a DNA test just for fun in 2017. I was totally shocked to find out that my ancestry results were that I was 58% Korean, which is much lower than I ever would have expected. I thought that I was 95, 98% Korean. The remaining 42% of Cho's DNA was mostly split between Chinese and Japanese, News Cho's parents refused to accept. My parents were really adamant that we were Korean. My mom in particular, she was almost angry at finding out these results. She said, I, I can't believe that that's true. And she actually left the room. She couldn't take it. But two years later, Cho checked his results again. They had changed. When I logged in, it said that I was 95% Korean, almost 100% Korean. My first reaction when I saw the updated results was, my mom was right. Companies like Ancestry and 23andMe admit that their test results can change as more people take the test, particularly from underrepresented countries. But for Fox, there's no doubt about what her test results revealed. Stomachs and nuts. Finally, after a lifetime of searching. There she is. There she is. <laughs> She's coming face to face with her biological father for the very first time.